Hello, my name is JC and I will be telling you about Mae Jemison. Mae Jemison, you may know the name, but do you really know me? Do you know my opinions or thoughts? Do you know what I did in my lifetime? Do you know who I really was? You might remember me as the first African American woman in space. However, we can remember me as so much more. I was the first African American woman in space. I entered orbit upon the Endeavour September 12, 1992, and I returned on September 20th to be written about in the history books. But many people don't know, I wanted to be a dancer, and I joined the Peace Corps, which is an organization of volunteers who want to help. I also speak Russian, Japanese, and Swahili just as good as my English. I showed people they can follow their dreams and be what they want to be, and I know that sounds a little corny, but once you get to know me, I think you'll have a much different perspective. I was born in Dector, Alabama on October 17, 1956. I was the youngest child of Charlie Jemison and Dorothy Green. When I was still very young, three to be exact, my family and I moved to Chicago, Illinois. This is where I started elementary school. In school, I would tell my teachers what I wanted to be when I grew up, and they would tell me I couldn't be a scientist and I should be a nurse instead. Still, I loved laying in my backyard up against the green grass and looking up at the stars. It wasn't that I didn't hate the idea that I hated the idea of helping people who were injured or sick. I just loved science so much. Knowing this, my parents were very supportive of my love of science. But they were also supportive of my love of dance. I loved to dance in school. I would be in musicals and plays, and it made me happy. And when I graduated in high school, I had to choose between being a dancer or being a scientist. I surprisingly chose neither and chose to go to medical school in California. I entered Stanford University on a National Achievement Scholarship. I graduated in 1977 with two degrees, one in chemical engineering and the other in Afro-American studies. Now, I was titled the first African-American woman in space, but I was awarded the, the, I was given the Elizabeth Blackwell Medal in 1977. The award is given by the American Women Medical Association, and it's an honor to earn this award. If you earn this award, it means you have shown your talents as a doctor or nurse. I was a volunteer at a refuge camp in Africa when I worked with the Peace Corps. Here, I treated patients, and I gave them medicine, and I worked with other doctors to help create medicine. This award showed the world I wasn't just the first African-American woman in space. I was also a woman who could help if she worked hard enough, a woman who knew how to help people, a woman who didn't give up because she failed the first time, and a woman who wouldn't give up even if she continued to fail and would not stop until she reached her goal. At the time, many women and African Americans thought they could not do anything because of their race or gender. I was different in so many ways. I didn't let what people thought of me as a woman or African American hold me back. And if it wasn't for me, many people would not have found their dream work, and they wouldn't be working at many places they wanted to work at, such as STEAM. Some of the world's greatest minds are African Americans and women, and if it wasn't for me, they wouldn't have been able to show the world what they could do. I showed the world that they could do anything, and I would always say, don't let anyone rob you of your imagination, your creativity, or your curiosity. It's your place in the world. Go on and do all you can with it and make it the life you want to live. I, and thankfully, many people listened and understood what I said. I did what I could to make the world a greater place. I made medicine. I made history. And I helped people see what they could be if they worked hard enough. I tried so hard to support people all around the world and be able to do what they love and be what they want to be. I changed so many people's perspective, and I hope I've changed yours. This is one of my best quotes. Repeat after me. The future never just happened. It was created.